Yeah. <coughs> I mean, hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to more Team Sonic Racing. Last time we started off with Chapter 4, Cheats Never Prosper. Did a little bit of missions with Silver, but you know what? We're going to continue on with Grand Prix. Like I said before, guys, I figured I might as well end it off because Grand Prix, it takes so long. There's four races and it takes up like at least a full episode, believe it or not. Just for you guys, and since I'm running out of characters to use, I'll, I'll continue off with Silver. Why, why not? Again, I think just one Grand Prix is going to take up an entire episode. But I mean, you're enjoying the races at least, so... Actually guys, it's funny, a, f a few days ago, a story I'm about to tell you. I went grocery shopping with my mom just a few days ago, and this kid... See, he's looking at me, right? And he's in, like, the shopping cart as his dad is going off picking food. Um, he's just staring at me, sucking on, on his finger. Uh, I'm beside him, just waiting for, um, my mom to, like, uh, get something. Because, uh, she went in to go get some eggs, I'm pretty sure. And, um, I'm just standing there, he's, he's, he's looking at me. And, I see, like, a stroller, and there's a baby beside the cart. He looks at me, and I'm looking at him, I gave him a wink saying, like, hey man, what's going on? Like, <laughs> stay sharp, kid, but then... He's like, you better not take my brother. And I look at him, and I cringe my eyes a bit, and I, I, like, I understand. He's a little kid, and he doesn't know know better, but I kind of was like, don't worry. I'm like, I, I was like, don't worry, don't worry, kid. I won't. I kind of j just chuckled at it, and I'm just like, <laughs> kids. And I said to myself, you know what, I could have been just like that, so it's understandable. If kids ever ask you awkward questions, just don't, don't, just don't even, don't, don't, don't get mad. Just take it as a joke, honestly. Like, I was just, like, I kind of was laughing. Because one, I'm not going to go in a grocery store and kidnap a baby when, first of all, you're watching, there's a whole bunch of people watching, and the father is just not even that far from me and you. So obviously I'm not going to do a stupid thing like that, risk myself going to jail, having everyone know, oh, there's this YouTuber, Kyro Sasson 18, he went to jail for trying to kidnap a baby in a grocery store. And people aren't even going to be offended, they're probably just going to be laughing off how stupid I, I am. What a fool. Like... But anyway, no, that's funny actually, that kid... Uh, he was great. <laughs> He's great, man. All, all kids are great, honestly. <sighs> oh, man. Oh. Sorry, viewers, I'm yawning. I'm, I'm tired again. Actually, d does this hurt me? Oh my god, it does hurt me. Come on, what? It's just water. It's a sprinkler of water. How does it hurt me? So dumb. No, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I kind of would. Sometimes I, I wish I was back in um, element. No, sorry. Ew, no, not elementary. In high school, I I didn't really like elementary. You were you were you felt prison. It seemed like. But when you're in high school, oh, you get to do your own thing, dude. It's great. I don't like. I don't even care about recess. You could keep your stinky recess all you want. Cause I get four classes with my buds, with my bros, my homies, my dudes and dudettes. But yeah, honestly, I kind of do do miss uh, high school. Carter and I, whew, we were wild in school. Guys, actually, you know what? Th there's actually a, a funny story, actually. So, in high school, <laughs> you're going to laugh at this, but I was sort of the one called the, well, for some reason, again, I never really hanged out with good friends with had with that had good attention on doing, I guess, good in school, or just having, a, like, a bad influence on, like, just not doing any work and getting kids in trouble, but you know, they were fine with me, they really didn't do anything that harsh around me, so it's fine, but anyway, apparently this one kid, a friend of mine, he called me a gum dealer, because, um, I loved having gum, like, to chew gum in my locker, it was nothing, anything wrong, um, I bought gums, and in case if I wanted to chew on a pack, uh, I, I just take some, and then he's like, and I think every day he came by to my locker and said, yo, yo, man, can I have a piece of gum? I'd be like, sure, man, go ahead, because I've had, like, I've had at least over 20 packs in my locker. It was so great, 
Um, every day he, he came up to me. Sometimes I would be like, sure, a piece is 25 cents and a pack is a dollar. Honestly, nah. Like, uh, like I would only do uh, do that to my closest friends, but if, through thin and out, I would just get like give them a pack for no reason. I'd be like, sure, man, take a pack. I don't, I don't care. And then he decided to call me a gum dealer, but it's like, no. Like, if, if some random person asked me for gum, I, I actually would say yes, because I was really nice in high school. I was a caring guy. There was this girl actually who came. She she and I didn't even know each other, right? She um she sits in in the hallway with her buds eating lunch. She I think she saw me for the past two weeks in, in a row, just always taking out gum out of my locker. She walks up to me saying, "I've uh, I've noticed you you have a lot of gum in your locker," and, she, and I'm like, "Yeah, I do." She, and all she said was, "Can I have a piece?" I'm like, "Sure," and that's it. <laughs> We didn't really even knew each other, like even outside of school. We we weren't friends. We were completely strangers to each other. But I still said yes because I'm a nice guy. Maybe I I could have gained a friendship, but I didn't. And you know what? Doesn't really matter to me, honestly. But yeah, that's so funny. Like every time I think of high school, it's it's just the whole gum thing I, I did. But then again, one of my friends did break into my locker, believe it or not, and I couldn't remember if half my gum were stolen but I saw my locker open with a teacher and my and Carter beside it and they told me that someone broke in and some kid saw my friend just walking out so he either could have confronted me and been like yo sorry man I really wanted a piece of gum and I accidentally broke into your locker and blah 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 or he, he decided to run off and you know what he ran off and at that point I really was disappointed in him because I thought to myself, who the hell would break into my locker? I got nothing and I'm like, well, I mean, there is gum. And the only people who ever knew that was this random girl who I only knew for two weeks. Trust me, no, she uh, she didn't do it because she, she was actually really nice. She wasn't those um, uh, bad girls you see in the hallway, honestly. She had good grades too. But um, no, it was actually my friend and I'm just like, no, dude, that's... That's not cool, you can't do that, so... And he apologized, and he owed it back to me, so I was like, alright, we all good. If you want a piece, just ask me for a piece, bro! I got, n I got no beef with you. We're friends. You talk to me, I talk to you. You're not, m you're not my friend be because of the gum. Believe it or not, like, um, me and him, we were friends way before I started getting gum. And I just, I had so much. I wanted to put it in my locker because they were in my bag and I'm like, you know what, let's just have it in my locker because I don't chew on it a lot maybe and in my locker, they're all in one spot, they're not all cooped up in my bag. Hell, sometimes I didn't even like uh, taking my bags, I'd rather uh, take my binder with my papers and pens in it, so. But yeah guys, honestly that, <laughs> that no, ch I'm, I'm telling you, that that is a true story. And it's a damn good funny one every time I think of high school, actually. It really is. A, it's a hilarious, hilarious story. I, I always like to think, of my, think to myself, what, like, what happened to those friends now who are just gone? The only friend I talked to out of my high school, believe it or not, is just Carter. He's the only one. I had a dear friend to me who I don't talk to anymore. I had multiple friends who I would hang out after school, I, I don't talk to them anymore. This girl who I had a crush on only once, only once for a little time, I don't talk to her anymore. And she and, she and I were... Mm, we... How do you say this? We, we were like friends, but we always had it at each other's throats, most likely. Like, I tease her, she teases me, so... Like, it was never, but, I mean, there was one time, yeah, I did have a, have a crush on her. And there was two times she had a crush on me, actually. So, one time I, I didn't know, and then there was another time where she told me face on that she had a crush on me. And that moment, I'm just like, oh. <laughs> but I, uh, I was over her. I, I didn't feel the same as, as uh, I did before, so. Which is all good. I'm pretty sure she's got a boyfriend right now. She's living her happy life. And I'm and I'm living off my happy life. So there, there actually was one time Carter and I almost did try and get her on to play a let's play, but um we couldn't get her. She moved unfortunately. She was busy with stuff, and it's a shame. 
But it's okay, because I got Carter, honestly. Sure, he's a bit of a... He's a bit of a loony and a knucklehead sometimes, but you know what? He's he's there for free when the going gets tough. So, he's really annoying, let me tell you guys. <laughs> I put up with it. None of you guys put up with it. He may sound professional on the mic, but when it comes to, uh, like, outside, whew, you don't know the real Carter, just such as I do. But again, he's not that bad, so. He's okay. He's a-okay. If I didn't like him, I probably would have tossed him in the trash by now, so. Friends stick together to the end. That's, that's what Timon says to Pumba. Speaking of Timon and Pumba, dude, is anyone looking forward to freaking Lion King, or is it just me? Because... There's been critics now saying that they're not looking forward to the Lion King, and I'm just like, are you out of your freaking mind? It's Lion King! A real life movie! I don't give a damn if, if the critics or, or the review says it's not good. I'm going to see that movie, and I'm going to love every second of it, because it's Lion King. Now, if it's anything like the Jungle Book, I'll admit, the Jungle Book, it had a bit of rough details and the storyline wasn't the same, Oh, but I heard that the storyline is going to be exactly the same. Where Mufasa dies by Scar, Simba gets um, thrown out of the Pride Land by Hyenas, Timon and Pumba looks after him, and then he goes back to reclaim his throne. I at least that's what I heard. If they change anything about it, I'm not going to know until I see the movie, and it better not be awful. It literally better not be. Actually, I'm not going to lie, out of all the characters, I really don't like Scar's design. I actually don't, guys. I, f I feel he should have been darker, because that's what they did in the Disney movie. He does look different compared to Mufasa, I'll admit it. But he, I feel he just needs to be a little just a little darker, that's all, to get that right touch. He does ha ha have a scar, actually, on his eye. So that's good that they did that. I'm glad that they didn't, for example, made him uh, appear in a scene without a scar, and then he got a scar from, like, Mufasa or something. Like, like, at a moment. Like, I'm glad it's it's still there when he uh, appears. So that's good. But it's always wonder to me that we never found out the truth on how he got the scar. I think there's a theory, actually, about it where it was Mufasa's father who did that to Scar, actually. I don't know, yeah, like, th there's a theory about it, but I don't know how that guy even, like, compulsively even doing a theory, considering that we've never even seen the father. But, you wanna know what's funny, guys? Nala, see, Nala is Simba's best friend, and future uh, queen of Pride uh, Rock, with along with Simba. She grew up with no father, and it's funny because people are now saying they want to know how did Nala even come to the world? Well, obviously, yeah, she does have a father, but we never even got to meet the father. I'm hoping in this movie, I don't care if it's five seconds, if it's a back, uh, like a uh, like a flashback, or if he appears. I want to see Nala's dad. I don't care if it's a picture, I don't care if it's for the flashback. I really, really want to see what Nala's father looks like. I really do. Because she basically grew up with no father. So that really did, did uh, disappointed me, honestly. So hoping they can add that on. If they don't, you know what? It's okay. But I think they should add that on. But what else? Oh, uh, Zazu, Timon and Pumba, um, Rafiki. Oh my God, Rafiki! Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, I I love his laugh. It's like, <laughs> actually, no, 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 no. You want to know who has the best laugh in Lion King? Freaking Ed, the hyena. He's got the best laugh I I've, I've ever heard. Like <laughs> where they get attacked by Mufasa. And freaking, um, oh god, what's that other hyena's name? There's, um, what's that girl's name again? That female hy hyena. Um, uh, Shira or Shazar? Hmm. I, Sh I think it's Shir Shirza or something. It's, it's somewhere around that. And the other guy, I forgot his name, and then there's Ed. <laughs> Ed is like the only one who, that I remember by heart. But no, he's got the freaking best laugh. It's like, uh, let's see if I can do his laugh right. It's like, 
the, the other hyena's like, it's not funny, Ed. And he just bursts out laughing like, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, if I did that awkward. But no, his laugh is amazing. I remember one time watching that when I was a kid, and I extremely couldn't stop laughing. It was that good. Like... <laughs> <laughs> and then it just like <laughs> just immensely just bursts out laughing uncontrollably and then it's like dude just stop laughing because they're gonna freaking make me laugh okay that sucks oh god oh this is the final oh true shadow is in the lead <sighs> too late silver Shadow is beating you. Alright, hopefully this doesn't screw us over. This was the final lap, I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, it's not. It's not the final lap. Oh, damn, is that team... Oh, no, that's Team Sonic. You guys are doing really bad. Okay, well, that wasn't the final race, but so far, Team Dark is behind us. Not really a lot, but still, they're in second place. I'm trying to remember any other Lion King characters that are special. I, I mean, there is, there is Simba's mom, Sarabi. Sarabi! <coughs> <coughs> oh god, I don't know how he did that without coughing. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, I, I, I think that, I think that's it. I think those are your main Lion King characters. Oh, could you guys imagine? Now, if you grew up with Lion King, could you imagine at the ending we see uh, we see um, young Kovu? Ho 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 ho! Because if we did, guarantee they're making another one. That could be like at the end of credits, where we see Zira. That's um, Kovu's mom, by, by the way. If you guys haven't seen uh, Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. Oh my god, if, imagine if we see, even if we saw Zira, or, um, or Kovu, or one of their cousins even, um, uh, god, what's that wacky, wacky guy's name, Kovu's brother. Ah, oh, Jesus, man, I can't remember their names, and I watched their movies so many times. Oh god, I'm so sorry guys. I can't remember their name, but you guys pr probably know who I'm to, uh, who I'm talking about. Wait, hold on. There's um, Nira, Nira, uh, not uh, yeah. You know, no. Nah, I'm sorry guys. I can't, I, I can't freaking remember. But still, if we see at least one of them at the end of credits, we we are getting another flying king. Actually, in a few short days, days, guys, Toy Story's releasing. My brother and I are, are going to go see that movie. We're gonna. I don't. You, you bet. They better hope that like they, there's not a lot of kids there, man, because we're gonna be shoving those kids out of our way, saying move. Because we grew up with this. Not you. <laughs> not you, little kids, right now that are wanting to go see Toy Story. Uh, uh. Nope. Not, not happening. Nope. I don't care. I will shove the parents if I have to. I don't care. Because no one's stopping me from seeing Toy Story Man. This is the final Toy Story they are ever making. They said that in an interview. And it's unfortunately sad, but you know what? It's got to come to an end. People thought, including myself, Toy Story 3 was a perfect ending. But you know what? Something told me. I had a hunch that they were going to make uh, another Toy Story. Honestly. But, um... They got it. Oh my god! Are you serious? That's so dumb. Yeah, okay, like, I'll have to check that after. I'm just, like, recording, so. But, um. Oh, Toy Story, man. People thought Toy Story 3 was the final one. And I, I knew they were gonna make another one, honestly. But the thing is, though. How are they gonna end it off? And, unfortunately, I hate to say this, but. Apparently, they said in an interview, the guy who did the voice actor of Buzz went down very emotional when they were doing their final script. He, I, I think he broke, 
I can't remember either he broke down or he couldn't finish it because he went emotional. So guys, it's it's gonna tear my heart, but I think somebody is, is dying in Toy Story. And a lot of fingers are pointing at Buzz. But for me, I feel I feel Woody is is going to go. I don't I don't know how they're gonna do it, either. Well, I, well actually no, sorry. Maybe not killing off a toy, but it's like either here are my predictions. Either Woody is gonna die by either saving Buzz or Bo. I'm I'm gonna say Bo, or um, there's gonna be a chance Woody's not gonna make it with the gang, and he decides to stay with Bo. Those are my predictions on, on what the ending's going to be, honestly. But a lot of people are saying that um, there's going to be a toy that's unfortunately passing away. And it could, it, hell, it could be even Buzz. It could be Buzz, but I'm thinking it's it's going to be Woody, honestly. Maybe Woody ends up saving Buzz, and maybe they do some sort of funny joke saying, like Woody says, his, his final words to Buzz is, you're a toy. Like, I don't know. I, 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 I have no idea what's going to happen, but I I possibly could be shred, uh, should, uh, could shred tears if, if, when I'm in there. Because I, I grew up with Toy Story. I, I really did. I freaking love that series. And this is the movie now where it needs to actually come to an end. Like, they have to. If they keep it going, it's, it's going to ruin the franchise of Toy Story. And no one's going to care anymore. It's going to get ruined. They they can't even take the risk on making a TV show about it. They could have years ago, around with Toy Story 2, or hell, even the first one, but not now anymore. It, it's too late. And I'm not counting Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. I'm talking about Woody, the entire gang, Andy, freaking Slanky, Mr. Potato Head, Jesse, Bullseye, all of them, man. All of them. Rex? Freaking Rex. <laughs> But anyway, guys, that's going to be it. So, thanks for watching Team Sonic Racing. I'll get back to you when I continue on with this game. Not a lot of left stuff to do. I, I will actually... and that, Actually, no. We're just... Wow, we're only really halfway done through this uh, chapter. And then we'll go on chapter 5. But still, there's still a lot more to do, as I say. Probably didn't even say it, but you catch my drift. As I'm drifting. Haha, <laughs> lame joke. I know. Deal with it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time for some more Team Sonic Racing.